Hey, 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 welcome to part two on our last one. The reason I'm doing a part two is because it was so special and I wanted to make sure that we had a no one in store for you. As it is, um, here I'm going to be showing you the last and main four, comparing it to 16. So I'll just read that off to you and then we'll get back on to our tricks. Okay, so, um, um, I ju we've just finished the 12th one. Our 12th trick on our 19th installment. And now we'll branch it off and get to our 13th one. Um, and, uh, that, and that that was the trick that I showed. Um, and I was going to go into revealing of it. First things first, I'm going to take it from the top. And then do um, a slightly in-depth on how that trick was pulled. From there, for our part two. And again, thank you guys so much for watching part one. Okay, uh, so now let's change this scenery up. Oh, isn't that cute? We see um, little puppies here making um, what appears to be a sandcastle. Perfect about one for the kids. Okay, so now well, I'm going to introduce you to the, our 13th trick, and um, we'll go from there. And that is the magic appearing Jaru Spike Wand. Magic trick. Here's what this one will look like for this. I have some special bracelets for being part two. You're going to turn these on while, while um, making this trick happen. So let me just turn these on right in front of you guys. There's one. And now here's two. So now there's two. You want to see what these look like in the dark first? I'll show you. In the dark, it looks like this. Nice and spiky. Okay, now let's make wand production happen. Click this here. And by magic, I produce it from this. And look. It does, uh, it does a light show. Put the spikes. The magic, it turns itself off. How is this one done? I will reveal the secret. Okay, here's what you're going to need to make this magic happen. All you'll need is what you're going to see here. And that is um, a Jaru Spike Wand. It has LEDs built on the inside. So as you whack this, it'll turn itself completely on. Very nice and summer and, and summery. Here's here, and all you need is this, a nice sash. What you want to do is you're gonna hide it just like this. You're gonna toss it into hand, and provide pressure, and then I'm doing that, making sure you get the whole thing on like that. So give it a good whack into your hand as you drop this and produce it, and have it do. A light show. A summer wave light show. So, it looks a little something like this. And by magic, producing uh, a Jaru spike wand from a silk, and end up doing a light show and end off with a flourish. You'll find these things in your local um, bucket tour store has that sells these uh, spike wands that you'll see just here. They look like puffer fish. <laughs> it's not cute. They got two on each side. And again, I'll show you. I'm not doing that. Very simple, very easy, with not much practice at all, and no prep is required. All you need is just two things a covering and the jar, the jar, the jar of wand. And to co has set with it, these bike bracelets to go with it. And that there is how you do the magic appearing Jaru spike wand magic trick. What a wand of wave in that one. That's how I do. <laughs> so there was our 13th one, then we get to our 14th one here on our 19th installment, part 2. And that is the Stunning Magic Summer Float Noodle Trick Gag. Here's what this summer 
from Middle World look like. Hmm, this is a pretty. This here's a pretty interesting float tube. I wonder if we can actually if we can get build that magic into there. Give it a wave. Whoa! Again, wave. And it changes. Again, give it the wave again. Goodness. That's that. Whoa! All that from a diff uh, really unique sized float tube. Wow. <laughs> that was pretty wa wavelicious. Well, now this is done. It's a very simple one. I'm going to teach you how this was done right now. Here's what you're going to need to make float tube magic. And that is what you're going to see here. It is actually not a float tube. It does look like one, but it's actually fake. Because here is, and it's an LED party tube. I'm going to put it into green silo paper. Make sure you get the silo paper that is in the right color of an actual float tube. Because they make green float tubes, right? If you can get big or small or, or you be unique and get something like this, you know. Check you can get a hold this. And as you give it a wave, just flick this. As you go like this. And then change up the wave. As you do that, and then end off by going like this. Pushing the button again. And going to to, to, to the summer shade. And you can get see the, the richness of this in action. So get your finger at you ready. And end up doing this. Go shake or wave. And end up doing that. And end up doing that. Cast out and make it just disappear from there. Could we we can send the um wave with a uh, summer float tube, and uh, that's how you do the summer float tube. Magic trick. Gag, because <laughs> it is a gag because it has it has this attached to it, so it's like a magic trick gag. Because you're taking uh, this, making it magical, let alone with the gag. One you could do with not much practice at all and not much prep required. Except for one thing, see a little paper and some tape to fasten it. And that's all you'll need to make this. That you'll see this right here. So there, you get the, the, uh, the two lamp ones, the jar of wand, and the phone tube. Perfect ones that you could do and spice up the summer life with these two amazing things. Very stunning and very eye catching. And that right there is how you do the stunning Magic Summer Float Noodle Trick Gag. And there, magic. It's doing magic with it. This one goes on to Surfing Safari. The hat of it. They're coming to you to our 15th trick here on our installment 19. And that is the Summer Safari Boonie Hat Prank Gag. Here's what this will safari like. Okay, so here I got my, my, uh, my uh, Safari Boonie Hat here. Watch this. And by magic, what came from it is a snake. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Oh boy. Snakes on the loose! I gotcha! You've been pranked! How is this one done? We're about to reveal the secret. The secret in this is extremely simple. I'm gonna teach you how that one was done right now. All you need 
Well, it's two things. One, first, is the hat. And that is the safari boonie hat that you'll see just right here. See? What I want to do is I'm going to preload something into this. What did I preload into it? The snake! So now let's welcome in this snake. And that's what you'll see just right here. It's, it's actually a fake snake that you'll see right here. It looks like a real snake because it has the skin tone and the style of a real snake in here. It has a tongue, the nice eyes onto it. What I want to do here is I'm going to wrap this around like this. I'm going to go get your boonie hat. I'm going to preload this into it. Just like this. Make sure you're tight on the wrap and you get to go. It'll stick in here just like this. Make sure that you tie a little bit of monofilament onto it too so you can get that a, a, a movement of the snake after being produced from the boonie hat that you'll see just right here. So here you're going to is sew the boonie hat just like this and you're going to cast out. What you're going to do is you're going to press this. quick and end up doing that casting it out expelling it from the boonie hat right towards them they'll uh, jump because look how big this snake is all that coming from safari boonie hat that you'll see just right here okay next is this get the monofif elements and do the thumb get the head to or if it's curled up, move it too. And having it going towards you, what you want to do is make a dart, a dart for it when that moves like that, like this. Have the snake to follow you. A very stunning prank gig that you could do at the park and at the beach, and surprising the beach goers. You have friends and family, your uncles or aunts, and uh, have them have a summer great time with that. Because all you need are those two things that I've shown you. So, just say right here the boonie hat and the snake. Together, you've got yourself a very epic, amazing prank gig that, that you could do with not much prep and not much practice. Very easy, just a very easy to set up. I'll show you to you this up again. Up closer. Wrap. Preload. So Hide like this onto a table, and you and you're good to go from there. Hold it. Like this, and or you can see it is just uh, coming out like that. It's let's see, let's just you use your imagination like this. It is the per per perfect one that you can do and pull off. And there is all what you'll see here that goes into this amazing prank gag. You could do that one um, outside or, or even inside as well too. And right there is how you do the summer safari boonie hat prank gag. Then we get to our last one, and our 16th one, and that is, goes in two hula hoops, two of them, this time. And that is what the trick I like to call, the Under the Sun Magic Hula Hoops trick. Here's what this summer, summer hula hoops will hoop like. Well, here's the two. Right to you. Okay, so here I got my, uh, two hula hoops with me. I'm gonna step back for this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. Look. Can you see? 
I can. So yeah, they're pretty big that they can't even go through. It's stuff right here. I'll show you that on the same one, on the other one. That it can't get these. That it can't get these through. But wait, watch. Then what was that? So how to get the hula hoop to go through the hula hoop? As it is, I'm about to reveal the hoop secret to you right now. All you need is what you're going to see here: two hula hoops. One, you're going to get a little bit more bigger. And a smaller one. Why? Because the one fits right through. So it creates the illusion that it's going through. How to create that illusion? I'll show you. Okay, what I want to do is, you know, hold it like this. So as big as you are, going out of the sky is just how small this one is. Because it can't fit this one in because it's too big. This is small. It can easily go through. So here, so, what I'm going to do is going to have, pass this one in, but like this, so you're having problems getting it in. Repeat that with this one. And just, uh, there, okay. You can repeat that again, and go like this, and just docking the top. That it cannot go through. Like this. Pass it around, take this, and then just push this in very quickly. This will go onto your arm. This is swinging to the other arm like this. I will, I will repeat that. So again, have problems. And get a good swing and end up doing that. Take this and doing that at the end of it. And here. Them off, show them the side like this, and point it right through like that. So I'll get a routine down with this. Really good. You could also do a dance. Because in the inside of these, happens to have some rice or something built in the inside. So you can do a little uh, uh, a wave thing. That a really cool uh, summer hula hoop trick that you could do. Not much prep pre required. Not much practice. Very self-working. As long as you need all these two of these summer hula hoops that you'll see just right here. And again, I'll show you last time. And there you go. There's my there's my routine right there, right before you guys. And there completes our 16 tricks on part two. And again, thank you guys so much for watching our summer tricks videos. Because now we're going to change up things from here into what? Back to school. So now we completely completed our summer tricks videos. And now we're going to welcome into our, our back to school trick videos very soon. As it is, you want to see them boxes? I will show you right now. Because I got the materials in to get creative and producing our and crafting our um, tricks, pranks, gigs, and magic for the school time. Here it is. But before we do, that is how you do the under the sun magic hula hoops trick. And now, here are the boxes. Boxes are all stacked just right here. All these Inside these of all the materials going for our all new 2019's back to school tricks video. So please stay tuned for our next um, uh, tricks videos series. And now this concludes our summer tricks videos series as well. This is from me as Tuli, your tricks show host of these amazing tricks show videos se series. Your Tuli, Reese, Naibo.
So for now, and have yourself a happy rest of your summer. And now, let's scene this one out.